Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Avia. Thank you for being here. This is your love and relationship reading for the month of March 2021. If you would like to see a review of this deck, which is the Arcanum um, Tarot deck, click on the link below, subscribe and click the bell button. I would love to hear your questions. So leave a comment. Also, to book a session with me, the information of my official website is below. And find me also on social media. It's lovely to have you here. So let's get started. So, hello Taurus. Welcome back. This is your uh, love reading for March 2021. Uh, we already have done your uh, general reading for the month. And this is your love reading. So what we have done up to now is we did a reading. And you should go uh, check that out. Uh, we did a general reading. That included uh, the general energy of the month, love, career, work, money, and wealth, and your outcome. Uh, also, your health, um, where you must concentrate on personal growth and the gifts from the past. And that was the general energy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to focus more on the love aspect that we had up here in the general reading. And see how um, this relates um to your general and see, you know, what uh, the energies are when it comes to love, relationships and the outer world and how you connect to them. And um, we'll take it from there. So I have your note, the note, your notes. I have, I have the notes from um, the general reading for March 2021. And I'm going to be doing a yearly as well and maybe uh, break it down into quarters. We'll see how we're going to do that. Because I want to see how the general energy of the, the whole year is and then how it breaks down to every month and then how that breaks down to your love. And maybe we'll do, you know, a little bit more, um, more stuff. We'll, we'll see how it works out. So when it comes to your general reading, what I have here says that uh, there's a lot of stability, intensity uh, of past uh, month. Finances. Um, okay, let me get the... Okay, so solution and execution oriented. People are not supportive as you would like them to. Uh, your stability is getting challenged, broken in the structure, by uh, in their supporting environment. At the end, the support is coming back from um, others. Intensity on the mental state. Fight for your desires. No support. Emotional, emotion, emotionally. I'm sorry. Charged mental turbulence. Inability to see clearly. And when it comes to love, I said I have over here decided to prove your ground, build up the character and strength um, from proving yourself, broke limits and boundaries, became a stronger person that's been respected. You had some turning points, um, and then you'll put an end to things that don't deserve you. Uh, let me see this um, last paragraph. Okay, letting people in, but at a distance, comparing to the past, letting situations unfold so that you gain your perspective, getting advancement unnecessarily supported, and what you want will uh, happen, but you will have to find another way to do it, increasing qualities that will support you. Okay, That's, that sounds good. Well, there's no movement, you know, and we have uh, things breaking down from the structure. So uh, we're already in March, um, now that I'm doing the beginning you know, of March, and I, I am a Taurus, so I am getting this energy a lot, you know, things breaking down from their structure. I have an um, internet connection problem, I have my phone, just uh, the storage, just, you know, not <laughs> working, but, you know, things are just happening. So it's the support is what, you know, you need in order to make a project work. Things are not, you know, working out. Now, when it comes to your relationships, we said uh, in general that you will have people not supporting you at first and then you will find support by the end of the month. We also said that um, there's, um, what is it? Uh, okay. Okay. So you, that you need to change your uh, perspective. You are keeping people in a distance. And that is exactly what we're seeing here. So you're working on something. You're changing your perspective, you know, coming in very emotional. So over here, what, what we're saying is there there has been a lot of talk from your um, surroundings. Um, so you have taken on a lot of mental work 
when it comes to your mental ability <laughs> that you are over uh, over um, burnt so you cannot take anymore so you need to slow down on this uh, matter and take it easy when it comes to that you need you know um, to let time pass and settle so that you can uh, come with something new but in order to have this new now if you're single this might be a new relationship but it's not going to be in march it's going to be more or less um it seems to be in april but we'll you know do um the love reading for april and we'll see but it seems that something new is coming in your life and for you that you're you know in a relationship it doesn't mean another person it might mean a new friend that will support you or someone that you did not you know expect you will find the support now in order to have a gain, like to gain from this situation, you need to um, change the way you see things. So there has to be a change uh, by settling down. So take the time and see why things are happening the way they are and see how, how you can do things differently, how you can uh, support your own self, but you, you will have to change. So by the end of the month, if you do this exercise and write some thoughts about love, now that it's the beginning of March, and then by the end of um, the month, you answer the same um, questions that you wrote in the beginning of the month. You will see that you have grown, you have changed. You might be seeking for a different person or seeking for different qualities, or um, you want someone who's more supportive, more um, um, emotionally stable, or whatever that might be for you. But that is not the way you think at the moment because you will understand um, within that you need something else for things to work so if you're in a relationship that you really don't want to be in um, there will be problems there if if, if um, the reason that you're in a relationship is not love and other things that hold um, that union it might have a, a shaking um, power coming in and just you know not messing it up but setting your grounds um, see it will it has to happen like that with this energy it just has to happen like that um okay so in the beginning i said that you're doing a lot of thinking and we get that over here as well so there's intensity in, in your um mental um aspect of the brain <laughs> and how this um is coming through is you trying to find ways to fulfill your emotional state and feel complete but from this you're getting uh, knowledge and you're being more specific on your needs and how to um, fulfill and feel how to come to completion how to feel complete as a person um okay let's just get uh, the exact energy the general for the for love okay so we're getting the same thing here. It's like you're trying to make things, you know, work. You're trying to take your time and invest in that. And then you're holding back, as we said in the general, you're letting people, um, how did I say that? Letting people in, but at a distance. So you're holding back. Um, but you are at a state that at the end of the month, you will be able, you know, um, to give back to all the people that have supported you when you didn't want to be supported in a way, you know. <laughs> all right. So over here, if you are a Taurus, then this is your energy. And if the person that you're interested in is a Taurus, then this is the energy for them. Or okay. Um. All right. Okay, so if you're a Taurus here, I told you that you have stability issues here, you know, that you have to reevaluate. You, you will come a winner out of this. Uh, so as the month the processes, you know, um, you will feel good about yourself. You will gain back your confidence. Uh, you know... It's like the universe is not really supporting you right now. So you might find yourself, you know, beating up throughout the process. But you will find your ways to do that. So when it comes to a relationship, that means that whatever you want out of a relationship, it's not going to be given to you like on a plate, like served 
you know, without doing anything, you will have to do the cooking, you will have to do the mixing and, of, you know, the ingredients and you will have to do the work. Sometimes, uh, you know, um, things will not work out exactly the way you want them, but you will learn through this process. Do not um, uh, get yourself into making decisions, moving forward, um, proceeding with relationships and stuff. Just wait and even if... Uh, the decision is, um, is break it down. That's what I'm trying to say. If you need to come up with um, a decision, so if you're asked to marry someone, for example, um, say yes if you want to and take it slowly. Don't, you know, rush yourself into things because you do have a winning, but that winning is, you know, after um, a dissatisfaction. So that means that you will have to question again and again, am I doing the right thing? Is this what I want? So there's a lot of, um, because we said the stability is going to be shaken. So think about things twice before, you know, you make up your mind. Now, if the other person that you care about is a Taurus sign, um, because they, they are in a mental um, problematic state, uh, but if you do stay close and you support them, um, they will give back and they will understand how you feel and they will take care of you after, you know, they take care of themselves. So it's a priority kind of um, a game, if, if we call it a game, uh, then it becomes a priority game. So they'll take care of themselves and then take, they will take care of you. Uh, there's, um, there's a stronger relationship, you know, building up. There's a nice moment coming up, but you have to get through this and them being, you know, um, stingy, I guess is the right word for uh, with their emotions. So they're not out there, you know, all over you. But if you wait, uh, you will get what, you know, you're, you're seeking, what, what you want. So over here, the um, energy for you, Taurus, love. And this is for the person if you're, that you're interested in. Okay, <sighs> Okay. so remember what I said, take your time, evaluate, let me put this up here, um, see how things are uh, working out, take your time to see what you want, what you don't want, question a lot, question before you make up your mind, because, because things are easy to do, that doesn't mean that they're the right decisions to make. So even if there's passion behind things that you might want, and I'm talking about love, right? So passion might be lust, might not be exactly passion. It might be um, you not having your mind uh, straight right now because you're in love, for example. But take the time to evaluate the situation and see what options you have and see why you want to be with someone. And if you don't want to be with someone, that's okay. You know, you don't have to be with someone. Uh, so that you know the right reasons because because now that there's uh your structure and your stability being shaken up that means that if you don't fix it now then there that will be you know um a a, a problem building up so you have a handful in the future if you don't take care of this right now and we might see that coming up and later um in the year because of that so take care of that make sure that you know what you want why you want it Take your time, evaluate, you know, see what else might be out there if you don't want that, you know, or if you are in a relationship, you know, evaluate your relationship, see what you can fix. It's not always, you know, getting out of something, it's fixing it as well. Now, if the other person is a uh, Taurus and it's not you, then, okay. <sighs> there might be some... There's expressions, there's problem in um, in the way a Taurus will express himself this month. So if you are with a Taurus this month, just, you know, try to be kind and be nice and give them space. Um, they might be a little bit distant, but that's okay. Um, there's a problem with their communication skills this month. They're not using them. So they, they might be more, um, not aggressive, but um, more persistent in their ways and what they want and how they want things to um, evolve. 
So you might not feel that they understand you, but you have to hold on, you know, because I said it will pay off. Um, hold on to that, you know. Okay, so in general, for Taurus, being in a relationship or not, when it comes to love, you will have um, new things coming up. But that is a prerequisite here. So you need to go through this process, you know, of um, um, fixing your stability and your ground so that you have a new uh, things coming up. So if you're looking for a new relationship, it will be there. You know, if you're looking for this relationship to have a new ground, it will be there. Anything that you, you're you seeking, you will find. And it will be good to, you know, because you will be able to hold on to this because you have done the work and you will be in a good state of exchanging uh, love and uh, unity with others. But if you have not done this, then you will have problems in the future where, you know, things will just not work for you. And you will have, you know, to put in more work then to make them work. So, you know, this is a good month for you to uh, build up on that because you don't have any movement. So the universe is supporting you to uh, fix problems, to find solutions, not to make decisions, but find solutions. Execution is a different, you know, uh, part from our decision making uh, process. But the the universe is supporting you right now uh, when it comes to um, fixing fixing things, working on things. Um, maybe initiating projects, but in a small scale, not, you know, big projects, little things that, you know, you can build on later on and there's no movement. So you're not going to see yourself progressing and that, that's not bad. You know, some months just progress is there and some months is not, and then it's okay. You know, um, I think that's about it for this month. Come back for a next, um, month to see the general, uh, reading and the love reading also i'll be doing a yearly reading and i think i'll be uploading it in march so come back for that as well it was nice having you here um thank you for supporting me i love you bye bye